Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new video for you guys and I'm so excited to get into it. I've already filmed this video twice and I just, okay, so this is what happened. The first time I filmed it, it was absolutely beautiful, well-spoken, amazing. Like I loved that video, but I just felt like I was a little monotone in the video also. I, the way I was talking and the angle made me look like I had a severe double chin and I just looked rough. So I'm like, eh, re-recorded it. The second time I recorded it, I was too, so focused on trying to recreate the first one that it came out shit, shit. So I scrapped that one too. Now it's take number three, that's six, but three. And um, I think I'm able to properly give you guys what I gave you in the first one. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what to do after you drop out of school. So before I even get into that, I just wanna mention that I did make a video on dropping out of school and why it makes sense for some people and why it's totally okay. And if you haven't seen that one and you're contemplating dropping out of school, I think that you should watch it. If you've seen that one and you're here for part two, then I wanna talk about what to do next um, and how to prepare for dropping out. And I also wanna quickly just share my story on how I prepared and what I did after I dropped out so that if you have a similar path to mine, I can like lead by example in a way. So I just wanna share those things with you. So I'm gonna start by talking about what I did. And I think that's very, it was a very key part of my journey. So if you're watching this video, you've either decided that you wanna drop out of school, you've thought about it, or you just realized it is an option. So the second I realized it was an option was when I started to take in that I hated school. But the thing is, I knew that at that time it was just an option. It wasn't a decision that I could make yet because I hadn't given it any thought and I had not prepared for it. Dropping out of school is a big deal. It is. Depending on your circumstance, it could be a very big deal. Um, for me, it definitely was because my parents were paying for my education and I was living at home and they said that like obviously if I couldn't continue going to school if I wanted to drop out that meant that I was like kicked out and I had to go find my own place so it was a big 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 decision and at this point of me even considering that it was an option I, ha I didn't even know that, that that was ultimatum to me I thought I could just drop out take a year off and then figure it all out but I couldn't do that I couldn't dropping out to my parents means dropping out so once I realized it was kind of a thought and I'm like I hate school how do I get out of this I made the decision to like okay like I'm bored when I'm not doing anything like I made a YouTube channel last year on my year off between college and university why don't I start actually posting on it because I had only posted three videos I had 60 subscribers 63 to be specific I had no subscribers I had barely any content up and I was like I made this channel and everything why don't I just start taking it seriously and posting on it because why not like I hate school and like, maybe this can be my L and I really believed it could be my L like it was my plan like I'm gonna grow this channel and make it my job so I can get out of school. Because when when you want something, sometimes it really can be that easy. And I hate to just like say that. And like, look at me, I'm sitting here with 5,000 subscribers. It, like, I have no subscribers on this channel, but I'm going to have them soon. You know what I mean? Because it, it's that easy if you put the work in. Anyways, that's another story. So pretty much, I made that decision to be like, this is gonna be my out. So I haven't thought about dropping out of school yet. I know it's something I might wanna do. So let me start putting in a plan into action so that when I make the decision, I have something to fall back on. Because the thing about dropping out of school is that you can't just drop out to drop out and do nothing with your life. You need to have a backup plan. You need to have something going for you or something that you already have planned that you wanna do before you just drop out. And we'll get to that, but my thing was YouTube. I was like, I'm gonna grow this YouTube channel a year from now, wherever it takes me, I'll make the decision on whether or not it's right. So I kept going to school. I, I was miserable and I kept going to university. I switched my major over to marketing. I kept going, took classes I hate, didn't do well. I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't do the greatest um, when it comes to my grades, but I kept going. I kept going, I did not tell my parents one thought because I still didn't know. So I'm like, let me just keep going and get some more credits. And um, yeah, that's what I did. I literally just made that decision to just try something else. So in that time, I tried YouTube and if my plan worked, it popped off. I hit like 60,000 subscribers while I was still in school full time. And then um, I just kept going. I was like, okay, like 
let me give this another few months but at that point I talked to my parents and I told them what I was thinking it was the hardest conversation of my life it ended up in me in tears and them barely wanting to talk to me and then like I pretty much had to make the decision but I decided I'm gonna finish my one more semester of school so January to April and then I'm gonna truly decide so I did January to April I got a couple more credits and in the time between like that first year and going on to the second I hit a hundred thousand subscribers I started my own business which was zodiac based apparel which was um, merchandise for my youtube channel I also started working with brands and connecting with brands online and doing brand deals like sponsored collabs and I started making money that I was like if I keep this going this can be a true income for me and something that I really love to do so I kept going and um, I talked to my parents and I was like mother father oh my god I went the wrong way I went the wrong way again oh my god I always do this like an idiot so I finished that semester and I told my parents I would give us some more thought I would try with school and then I would truly decide at the end of that semester at the end of the semester I made the decision and I dropped out but the only reason why I felt okay with dropping out is because I had a plan. That year and a half ago, I had continued on my YouTube channel, started taking it seriously, started a merch company, connected with brands, build my brand, and on top of that, I had a book deal in the works, which was the book that I have out now, Mindfulness Through the Stars, and I knew that was going to be published, I knew that was gonna be another source of income, and something that could add to my success. I had all these things going for me, and I felt confident in the decision to drop out of school or at least like take time off because I knew I had something to fall back on. If school wasn't going the way that I wanted it to, which it wasn't, then I knew I could take my passion and monetize it and build a career out of it. So because of this, I made the decision. Had I not done the YouTube channel and had I continued working at Staples and Rogers doing what I was doing and had I just kept going to school and not had a fallback plan a year from then I would not have been like okay let me drop out because I'd be like what am I dropping out for to work more hours at Staples what the hell am I gonna do that for you know what I mean like it, it has to make sense for you it has to align with what you want to do and if you don't know what you want to do you may as well keep going to school so this is what we're gonna talk about now so what do you do after you drop out of school the reason why I just told you that story, and it took me forever, sorry, is because I need you to understand that you can't just drop out to just drop out unless you're okay with the life that you're currently living. Let me explain. So for example, if you're like me, you were working at Staples and you were going to university and um, that was your life, but you wanna drop out of school, cool. I'm not saying don't drop out, drop out if that's what you and your heart wanna do. But you need to be okay with your circumstances. You need to be okay with the fact that you work at Staples. Like you can't just drop out and continue working at Staples full time. Like if you're going to school full time and working at Staples part time, if you have nothing else going for you, you're gonna drop out of school and end up working at Staples full time. Do you know what I mean? Like you need to know that if you, you need to understand that if you don't have anything going for you, your life's gonna be the same except now you don't have school. Me, I was not okay with that at all. That's why I knew I had to create a backup plan for myself in the years that I was continuing to go to school. But you need to be, you need to live with that. You can drop out if you wanna drop out, but face the reality that you're currently living in and understand that that's not gonna change until you make the change. If your plan is to drop out of school and then start working on your business because you have more time now, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I would do school part time and start working on a business then drop out when you're ready but if you don't have anything going for you you're just i'm so sorry to say it you might be being a little lazy because you have options you have the option to continue and to work on something or you have the option to work on said thing until it starts to take off and then drop out like that's the thing I think education is very important and I value it. However, if I don't need it, I won't focus on it and prioritize it now. I'll come back to it later when I've achieved the things I want to achieve. You know what I'm saying? So what should you do? You're probably like, Ashley, spit it out. I can't give you that answer. I can just tell you 
the different options that you have and what could happen. So that's option number one. Option number one is to drop out of school and continue the life you're living except now you have no grades to worry about. So if you're miserable with your job, like dropping out of school is not gonna change that. Dropping out of school is just gonna take one thing off of your list of things to do. The next option is to do what I did, which is the smart thing to do because I'm a genius. <laughs> that is to work on something the second you realize that school might not be for you. Even if you don't know how you feel about school and you might still like it, you might still wanna keep going. If it's even a thought, start putting something into action. Because let me tell you one thing that you have on your side right now and that's time. You have time on your side. Either way, this year is gonna go by. Do you want this year to go by and then in a year you're like, oh, maybe I should drop out of school. And then another year has to go by before you can actually make the decision because you didn't put anything into action. No, start putting something into action and planning and plotting and scheming and working and building. And next year you might still wanna be in school, but at least now you have something that is going on the side that you have that choice, you know what I mean? So even if it's just a little thought, you better start that online business. You better start selling master classes you better start cutting hair on the side you better start something because i'm telling you once you get that passion for something you're gonna it's gonna fuel you and you're gonna work so much harder and you're gonna see it as you're out and you're gonna focus so much on that that eventually it's gonna be so easy for you to make the decision not easy but as easy as it can be to make the decision and you're gonna make it you're gonna make it and it's gonna feel really good guys i'm kind of craving a frap and i never get fraps ever 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 get fraps i'm at starbucks by the way i think i'm gonna get a frap so i also don't want to confuse anyone with what i'm saying like i don't want anybody to think that you know you have to be in school because you don't like i mean obviously you probably don't think that because i i'm talking about why you should drop out but like what i'm trying to say is like you don't have to have a side hustle to drop out of school you just have to understand that school is a resource that will help you excel in life it is what it is it's a fact like some people sit on their diplomas and let them collect dust for years other people reap the benefits of their diplomas and it helps them succeed what i'm trying to say is that like i'm not saying you need to be an entrepreneur or start a youtube channel or have a hustle or do this to drop out of school if you want to drop out of school and not do anything other than what you're currently doing which could be working at staples working at the mall working whatever that's okay but the thing is you need to be okay with it like that's that's the difference you need to be okay with it like if you're just gonna drop out of school and go from part-time to full-time at staples and hate your life you're not making the right decision because now you can't even move up the corporate ladder because you don't have the education necessary to be at the top of staples. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna be stuck working within management, maybe a little bit upper management and kind of stop there. And that's okay, but again, you need to be okay with that. If you're miserable and you want more, you need to come up with a plan, whether that be get your education and diploma and use it, or whether that be start your own business. It's not gonna be just let me drop out of school, sit on my ass, keep working at Staples and just hope for the best because nothing's gonna happen. You have to make that change in your life and you need to accept it. I know someone who works at the grocery store and she never pursued further education and she's okay with her life. She doesn't want more, she doesn't strive for this, she doesn't, she's just like okay, she's happy. And that's good for her because she is happy and that's all that matters, one second. <laughs> Hi, can I get a grande uh, chocolate, double chocolate chip frappuccino, please? Okay. With soy milk. Maybe with soy. Actually, you know what? Let me do oat milk. Oat milk with no whip. Smart. <laughs> and is that everything, darling? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Seven oh six will be your total. Okay. That window is so slow. I'm trying to make a little dramatic look at the windows. Um, seven dollars, bitch. When did Starbucks get so expensive? Didn't it used to be like? Didn't it used to be like? I don't know, like five something for that. I don't know. That's fucking crazy. 
Anyways, if you're gonna stay working at Staples, you better be the best damn copy and print associate that anybody's ever seen. You better go to that job with pride and own it. People ask you where you work, you say, I work at Staples. You better be happy because this is the life you chose. So accept it, nothing wrong with that. I'm not throwing any shade at all. I really mean it. Be good at what you do and be happy with your life if that's the life that you choose. But if you want more, you better go for more. Period. So, have I even answered the question? What do you do after you drop out of school? This is what you do. This is your game plan. A year before you drop out of school, the second you make your decision, you start plotting and scheming. A year later, you make your decision. Are you dropping out? Are you staying? Are you dropping some classes, doing part-time? What are you doing? What is it? Once you decide, okay, I'm dropping out, what now? There's different scenarios. Are you gonna have parents like mine that are a little bit crazy and kick you out of the house? <laughs> Yes, okay, so make sure that in the year leading up, you're saving money, you're working your ass off, and you're coming up with as many side hustles as possible. Make sure you have at least like 7K in your bank account because moving out is expensive. That's option number one. Then number two, let's say you're in a situation where your parents are like you have a year in the house and then you gotta make a decision or you're kicked out. Okay, then you use that extra year of no school and you better, oop, I gotta pay. I'll pay partially on Starbucks card, please, and then the rest on debit. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm okay. Could I get a straw, please? Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, she was so nice. I love her. She's like, there you go, darling. She was like, there you go, darling. People are, I love darling. My boyfriend calls me darling. I like that word. It's sweet. Um, yeah, okay, so your other option, your parents might be like, okay, well, if you want to drop out of school, you can only take a year off and then you're out the house. Use that year to your full advantage. Use and abuse that year. When I say use that year, there's so many different things that you need to do. There is starting a side hustle, there's saving up money, there's figuring out how to incorporate yourself, there is networking, networking, networking. I know it's hard, we're in a pandemic right now. Trust me, I get it. Start meeting people online that are in your community of the things that you wanna do, find a mentor, things like that. Like find people that are like-minded. Now, if you have that time off, you need to make the most out of that year so that by the time the year is over, you're on your feet, you're ready to fly. You know what I mean? You're good to go, your wings are grown, whatever the saying is. Um, start making those connections, start making those friendships. You need to start really, really aligning yourself with people that are on similar journeys as you. If you're friends with all people that are um, nurses, doctors, dental assistants, um, re real estate agents, which is what I was, you're gonna feel like you're falling behind in life and I promise you that. I'm so sorry to say it, but like, I'm on a different path than them and it was hard for me to remember that. I was really beating myself up over the fact that I felt like they were so accomplished. Like they were making all this money and they were doing all these things and they were going to all these business meetings and I just felt like, damn, I'm just a little YouTuber, you know what I mean? I felt stupid, I'm not gonna lie to you. I felt pretty stupid and I hated that feeling. So I started finally aligning myself with creative people. Thankfully my boyfriend and I were getting really close at the time as friends and um, he was introducing me to all these creative people and I started to feel comfortable, I started to feel like myself, I felt confident in my journey and I was able to really, really connect with so many different types of people and realize that like what I'm doing is different and that's okay and it's fun and I love it um, and it made me happy. So f start meeting like-minded individuals to motivate and inspire you, especially if they're doing better than you, even better even better find some that are on your journey but also find some that are ahead because i'm telling you it will make you want to do so much more mm. oat milk bomb the oat milk was a good choice okay now now here's another option let's say you drop out of school you're allowed to stay at your parents house they don't care if you're unemployed like your parents are white they're chill you know so if that's the case this is what you should do. An internship in something that you wanna do. Whatever it may be. Do you wanna be a YouTuber? Okay, go internet a marketing agency that works with influencers. Because why? You'll meet PR people, you'll learn the analytics and the other side of YouTube. All the marketing, all the SEOs, all the back, back end stuff you're gonna learn. That's gonna help you as a YouTuber. Um, you'll learn how to create content, you'll be around creative people, 
that will help you. If you, you want to be a talent scout, go intern at a modeling agency or an acting agency. If you want to be a clothing designer, message local brands in your area. Toronto is where I'm from. There's so many people. I could just message a brand and be like, hi, do you mind if I shadow you for a couple months, a couple shoots, or if you're looking for an intern, if you need help, if you need an assistant, offer them your free labor. If you're allowed to live at home rent free, do it. It will help you. You'll start networking with all of their inner circle people, industry people. You'll learn their process, their creative process. Start doing things like that, okay? That's what you got to do. And if your parents are the type that are like, if you drop out, you got to leave the house now, like mine, stay in school until you're ready. That's your only option. Stay in school for another year, but make sure in that year you're planning for your move, you're starting to slowly buy items, you're starting to save money, you're starting a hustle, whatever it may be. Stay in school until you're ready. So that is my speech. <laughs> my throat is so dry because I've been talking a lot. so good mm. delicioso delicioso so yeah that's pretty much it friends I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you appreciate me low key yelling at you um, again I want to mention like everyone's path is different and that's okay if your path is dropping out for absolutely no fucking reason that's fine just make sure you are happy with the current reality you're in because not much will change you know like the whole I'm not going to school thing and feeling will blow over after three months and then you'll start to sit with wow I'm really at Staples five days a week for eight hours a day and it will hit you it will so make sure that you don't have that wow moment that hits you and that you've already accepted it and you're okay with it and you're happy with it if you decide to drop out in a year, that's okay. Trust your journey and do what you gotta do. If you decide you wanna continue in school, you're a stronger person than me. Go get the best fucking grades ever and you better own that diploma, degree, and brag about it and flex on everybody because that shit's not easy. Everyone's journey is what feels right to them and not what feels right to other people. And I hope you learned something from this video or were inspired in some way. I hope you gained something from this. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, let me know what part of your journey you're on. Let me know what you're contemplating, what's going on in your head. Like, Just share your thoughts with me, please. I do want to know, I swear. I actually care. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.